Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike here, and today guys, just got a quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how to get your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad out of a reboot loop. Now, if you don't know what a reboot loop is, it's basically where on your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad, you basically see the Apple logo nonstop. It's just a complete loop. It doesn't go away. And, uh, yeah, I've been here before, so uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys are probably, like, freaking out because you're probably thinking, well, my device is basically done. Uh, if you're thinking, throw it out a window, take it to the Apple Store, that's really not the answer, because there is a simple way to fix this. Now, I have a combination of ways to making it work. Some other people do, but uh, some other people have other ways, but this is the easiest way I find it to work. So this is an iPhone 4S jailbroken with Cydia on it, uh, running 5.0.1. And uh, basically, I just installed a bad tweak, and uh, now I'm stuck with the boot loop. So what you're, all you're going to need is a, uh, a bricked iPhone and you're going to need iTunes, a computer with iTunes. Now this cable over here is plugged into iTunes, my computer is right over there. As you can see, it is hooked up. So uh, also I want to let you guys know you will be restoring your device in this process and the reason is there is no, there is a simple way to getting out of recovery mode because eventually with this uh, process we will be in recovery mode. There is a simple way to getting out of recovery mode. However, uh, if you do have a brick device, uh, getting out of recovery mode wouldn't make sense because you'd just be coming back to this Apple logo. So uh, pretty simple. All you're going to be doing is connecting your uh, base. What you're going to do first is you're going to be putting your device into DFU mode. This is pretty simple. You're just going to be holding down the power and home button until the screen dies completely black. It'll reboot maybe once or twice, but you just got to wait for it to die completely black. So it's going to reboot again, and it should short actually. Yep. Okay, now it's in DFU mode. Now what you're going to do is with your USB cable ready, plugged into a computer, not a power source, a computer with iTunes, you're going to hold down just the home button, okay, and plug in your iPhone and keep holding down the home button. Don't stop holding it down. And you see right there we have the iTunes screen and of course iTunes comes up with the error or not error, it says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode, as you can see there. So now, uh, we can restore the iPhone, and your iPhone is no longer bricked, it's now in recovery mode. So from here, what you'll do, we'll go right here, and uh, we'll say OK. OK, we're going to click Restore. We're going to say Restore and Update. OK, we're going to say Next. Agree. And that's it. And within no time, your iPhone will restore. And then, uh, of course, you know, if you have a backup on your computer, I actually don't have it on my Windows computer. I have it on my Mac. But uh, on your computer, basically, you'll just back up your iPhone. And uh, then you're all set. That's really it. Right after you restore, just uh, plug in your iPhone to whatever backup source you had. You get all your stuff back on. And uh, that's it. And if you really want to, you could go ahead and read jailbreak. But make sure when you read jailbreak that you're smart and you don't install anything bad. Uh, I probably won't be re jailbreaking for quite a while on this device, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, yeah, just let the iPhone software update download, and uh, that's really it. I hope I helped you guys out with this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button up top. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.